Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own letter template in Word. So the first thing I'm going to do is insert a logo. Now the solid information that you will not have to change each time you retype a new letter, I'm going to put into the headers and footers. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it for ease. So in order to do that, I'm just going to either double click at the top of my page or go to insert header or footer, it doesn't matter, click on the drop down and select edit header. And now you can tell we're in the headers and footers because we've got these two blue lines and a little tab header and footer. So now we're inside the headers and footers, I'm going to go to insert, pictures, click on the drop down and picture from file. And then you can just go ahead, click on your logo and click insert. Now when an image is inserted into Word you can't move it, so make sure it's selected go to picture format, go to wrap text and select in front of text and now we can simply resize it and move it anywhere we like. Once you're happy with its alignment you can deselect it by clicking anywhere above or below this blue line. If you click in the center nothing will happen. Now we're going to insert some further text so I'm going to go to insert, text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box, click and draw out a text box. Now the reason I'm using text boxes is because they're really easy to customise and you can move them anywhere around your document. And it's far easier than trying to type and then move the text up and down the page and it knocks everything about. So I'm just going to insert the address. Once I've entered the address, if I deselect this box you can see we've got a board around it. So I'm just going to get rid of that. So select it, go to shape format, go to this icon here which is the outline and select no outline. Then I'm just going to reduce the size of it. I'm going to go to the Home tab and I'm going to select Right Alignment and then I'm going to place it over here. Now you just have to bear in mind your margins because I think it's nice if you line up the main text with the edge of your address. So I'm going to put mine to around about here and try with the other one to line it up relatively the same. And this one I'm just going to try and put it in the centre, align it to the centre of this logo. So to check on progress you just double click in the centre of your document and then you can see how it will look. Now it's all greyed out and that's quite normal for headers and footers. If you were to print this out or you to save it as a PDF then it would look completely normal and jet black again. But if you send it as a Word document your headers and footers are always greyed out. So I'm just going to double click at the top again. I'm going to use this text box by holding down my Alt or Option key once I've selected it and then click and drag to the bottom. Now you might think that you've got to put everything above or below these blue lines but you don't. Anything in the headers and footers you can put anywhere on your page and it will be duplicated to every page in that document. So down at the bottom here I'm just going to select all, Command or Control A. I'm just going to enter in a website and then reduce the size of this. Then I'm going to go to the Home tab and just place it into the centre. What I am going to do is I'm just going to move that over until it nudges to the second line and then pull it back across. That tells me it's the smallest this box will go. And then sort of line it up with our company edge or the edge of the C here all the way down. I'm just going to move that over slightly can use your arrow keys as well. Then I'm going to hold down my Alt or Option key again. I'm going to move it over to this side, deselect, reselect one of them again and do exactly the same with this one. And then in here I'm going to put an email. And once again reduce the size until it moves to the second line and then pull it across. Perfect. So once you've got this one lined up and this one lined up, we can align them all. So hold down your command or control key and click on the other two. Go to shape format, go to align, go to align to top, which will align them all together. Align again and to distribute horizontally. And this will mean there will be an equal gap between all of these three. And then just deselect and check that you're happy. Now if you're finding that there's a bit more of a gap this side to this side then another trick you can do is to select them all, go to group, select group and then 
you can centre the entire group, deselect it, then you can see the gap either side is exactly the same. Then double click into the centre of your document and there you can see all of that information is information that you don't have to change every time you type a letter. So let's put the main text in. So you can see my cursor is flashing at the top here and if I start to text it's going to interfere with my logo. So in order to change that, go over to rulers. If you can't see rulers, go to view and then just check ruler. Hover between the gray and the white section, click and pull that down so that your cursor ends up pretty much exactly where you want to begin to type. And I would say round about here. So I'm just going to put in the word dear. I'm not going to put anything else in because of course you're going to fill that out when you type your letter. But then what I will do is I'll create a space then I'm going to create a title, so title of letter. Then I'm going to format just this text. I'm going to make it bold, underline it, increase the size of it. And then I'm going to press the return key. Now, if I was to begin to type again here, you can see it's added that formatting. So to get rid of all formatting, like the bold and the underline, just go to the home tab and click on this icon here, which erases all of your formatting and you can see there. Then I'm going to press the cursor around about three times and then I'm going to put in the signature bar at the bottom. Then I'm going to press my return key about three times and put my name in. If you've got a digital signature you can put it in here. I have got a video on how to do that so I'll link it down below. Go to insert pictures, picture from file, click on your signature and click insert. Again, you can't move it, so go to wrap text in front of text, reduce the size of it and place it exactly where you want it. Now, just before we go ahead and put in the main text, you can see that everything's not quite lined up here. So you can either move your logo or you can move the text. Go to shapes and go to line, click hold your shift key down and then just click down to the bottom. Once it's selected, with your arrow key, just move it across. So if you want to keep this element here, the company across, so you can see if I select this and just move it across, actually our text and down here at the bottom almost match up. I can always go down to the bottom here and just move this across slightly. And then I can move this one over and now we've got it all lined up there. Perfect, so select the line. And now what we can do is, it's really tricky to move lines in Word. You can move over to the other side and see how we're lined up here. And then double click down here. This is now a group, so go to Shape Format, Group, Ungroup it, so we can just move this one here. So let's deselect them all, just reselect this one. With our arrow key, we can just move that across. Perfect. Double click into the main area, get rid of the line, select it and press Delete. So now we've got everything lined up, I just need to put the date in. And again, I'm just going to use a text box, draw text box. And again, this is something you're going to change. So this is why I've put it in its own text box. And I tend not to line it up or try to type it on the same line because it just moves everything around and you're just not given that flexibility. If I deselect it, we've got a line again. So up to shape format no outline. Again, move that across. We can actually move that over by going to the Home tab and moving it to right align. And then I can use my arrow keys just to move that over. Perfect. And that's something, again, you're going to be changing each time you type your letter. I'll show you how to save this shortly to a template, but just for demonstration purposes, this is what you will end up with when you open your template. You've got everything you need and all you need to do is begin to type here, change this title, and put your main body of your text here. So let's just put in some random text and I'll show you how it will look. There we go. So pretending this is your letter, just move these paragraphs down. So this will be the main body of your letter and you can see it perfectly lines up with the margins. If it doesn't, you can move it out. Just go to the rulers at the top and move that across. And again here, we're all lined up. So you can save it with some random text in it if you want to, and then all you've got to do is delete the text, or you can simply delete the text, 
and then save your document like this. So this is now your template. You can add other features if you want to, like shapes and lines and colors and things, but I've got other videos for that. So again, I'll link them down below. So all you need to do is go to File, Save as Template, and then at the top here, just rename it. We'll say Letter Template. Then make sure it's in Templates here, and then your file format, make sure it's Microsoft Word template and click save. Now, what will happen now is if I then close this down, if I then open up Word, you can see I've got an array of templates across the top, but go to more templates. And then you can see at the top here, you've got personal. So these should be all the templates you've made. And here is my letter template. So I click on that and click create. And you can see it's been renamed as document three. It's no longer the original document which we saved as a letter template. So your template's safe. This is a brand new document. You can play around with this, change it as much as you like and save it. It will ask you to save it as a new document. So it will not interfere in your original template. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.